Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Tiff and I am back with another video. I am horrible. I have been meaning to film this video for like a little over a month now. So whatever. So anyway, y'all already know when I come to y'all in a raw with a wig cap on that I'm doing a wig review. <laughs> so I am doing a wig review today on the Sensational What A Lace. I believe I got Morgan. What did I get? Okay, yeah. On the Sensational What A Lace line, this is the wig Morgan. I got her in a color 1B. I know you guys have seen the What A Lace lines almost every single wig all through YouTube. I have, I think, three wigs myself that I've done a review for. Um, I have other wigs. I don't always do a review when I get wigs just because... I either don't have the time, I forget, or I might film it and don't like the video. It's so many reasons. But this wig, I said, we're going to do a review. So this is the wig. You guys know how it comes in the package. Oh, I got my wig from Sam's Beauty. And I think I spent like 54 So, um, yeah, I got my wig from Sam's Beauty. I think it was like $54.99. I don't remember exactly, but I will have it linked down in the description below. Y'all know how I go. But if you have never heard of the Sensational, if you don't know about the What A Lace, they are like the bomb. Bomb.com for synthetic um, lace wigs. They are inexpensive. They are very, very realistic looking. Natural hairlines. That's why it's called What A Lace. I'm going to show you guys. Um, this is... The lace, it is a very sheer tint lace. So like if it was on my hand, do you see that? Where's the lace, y'all? Where's the lace? Bomb. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm telling y'all, every time I film, this phone rings. Anyway, um, so yeah, the lace is just really, really cute, undetectable. It comes with the comb in the back, and it does have the E adjustable strap so you can definitely adjust the strap how you need it has little clips right there so i'm just going to show you guys i should probably take this off i really should all right so let's just pop this wig on y'all don't mind them edges don't mind them edges <laughs> you guys can see it kind of already has baby hairs in the front which is kind of cool because you don't really have to do too much of that customization but anyway that is the wig on you can see my wig cap right there it typically wouldn't um be like that because i kind of adjust my wig cap but this is the wig if this stuff don't stop sticking to my lips lip gloss let me be great so this is the wig look at the parting space like you could definitely part this wig however you see fit if you wanted to have like a really deep side part that option is there you know so so that is the wig i'm gonna show you guys how i because i always do this disclaimer i ain't no wigger a uh, wig person like I like the wigs they're convenient but I'm not no wig aficionado I don't do this for a living so I'm gonna just show you guys how I <laughs> do my hairline how I glue down my wigs to make it you know work for me okay. on this lace or nothing like that that's just already like it blends so good so I cut two little slits right there and then you can take a eyebrow razor Sometimes I use the really, really short razor just to make sure I can get in there. And I ain't even from the front. I'm not about to talk to y'all while I cut this because I don't want to mess it up.
baby me and these baby hairs from the fight because I don't care for them that much but I'm trying not to have it look too wiggy I'm probably just gonna fix the baby hairs and stuff a little bit off camera um yeah so I'm probably gonna fix the baby hairs a little bit off camera like I said I'm not a big fan of baby hairs um okay it's already tangling a little bit but that is to be expected whenever you're dealing with a synthetic wig but overall I like it it's the left so uh, if I can get it so that is the left the wig comes like literally to the top of my waist back there <sighs> And you can definitely customize it, put some foundation um, in the middle part of the wig just to kind of make it look a little bit more closer to your actual scalp color or whatever. I'm not going to do too much with this wig because I'm about to take this wig off. This was really just a review for this video. I am going to probably put a couple more curls in it because I like the way before I got to combing it I love the way that it falls on this side and it's not really doing that on this side so the left side doesn't have the same like you see flow and movement that the right does the right which is already look at that y'all it's already tangling and all I'm trying to do is comb but anyway um that's it. This is going to be my review of the wig. It tangles. That always happens with synthetic wigs. I don't care at this point because I don't sleep on my wigs, nor do I keep these wigs very long. Um, I like the fact that it is long, that it is versatile. I don't think it's going to tangle as bad as the curly does. I kind of feel like the curly wigs tangle just way too freaking fast for me. Way too fast. But overall, this wig right here, I do love. I like. I'm probably going to wear like the middle part. Um, and I might come back and just show you guys a really quick video on how I do a little bit more customization because I take my hot um, wine curlers and I kind of just lay it on top for a few minutes just to straighten flatten this out more and I'll take like a little bit of conceal I'm sorry foundation but I tend to take foundation underneath the um, lace versus on top now I've been doing that as well um, you can pluck it if you want to uh, make it a little bit more realistic for the part but overall hey I like it I like this. It's light too. It's light. Like I don't like wigs. As much as I do reviews and I buy wigs and I got maybe nine wigs up in that closet hanging back there. I don't really like them on my head because I always feel like they feel too tight. But this, this is cute. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.